I'm going to take you through the very important setup of two-factor authentication and your recovery code. So let's get going. First thing we need to do is go to vault.bitwarden.com and then log in to the vault with your master password. I've logged in to my account and in the top corner you'll see the little person icon. Choose the drop down and go to account settings. Under account settings go over to the left and choose security and then in the middle of the screen choose two-step login. This is where you'll set up your two-factor authentication. You've got multiple choices for two-factor authentication and the recommended options that we suggest for you are Authenticator app and FIDO2 USB key. Let's go through the first most common one, the Authenticator app. You're going to need to have your mobile phone to hand with this and you'll need to have an Authenticator app installed. I recommend Authy, Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator as good quality Authenticator apps. Choose the Manage button, enter your master password and you'll be presented with the screen that asks you to scan the QR code into your phone. Grab hold of your mobile phone and open your 2FA app. In your 2FA app, it will ask you to scan the QR code using the camera. I've scanned the code and it's discovered that this is Bitwarden correctly. Now it's offered me the series of six numbers that rotate every 30 seconds. I'm gonna enter those six digits from my phone into the screen in box three to confirm my two-factor authentication. That has now enabled two-factor authentication using my mobile phone's Authenticator app. I'm going to add a second level of authentication to demonstrate how you can use a USB security key for this. Now the key that I'm going to use is this. It is a Thetis USB FIDO security key. They're available on Amazon for around £15 and you can secure multiple accounts using one of these hardware keys. We're going to set that up now. Go down to Web Orphan and choose Manage. Enter your master password. Click Continue. Now you can name the key. I'm going to name this Thetis and I'm going to plug it into my USB port over here. I've plugged the key in and the computer's detected it. I'll click Read Key. Windows will now verify my pin in Windows that it's me and ask me now to touch the button on the key which I've done. I can now click save. I've now enabled two-factor authentication with my hardware USB key as well as the authenticator app. It's not impossible that you could lose your mobile phone and lose the hardware key. How would you get back into your Bitwarden account? To do that you'll need your recovery code. Here you can see view recovery code. Click that button. Enter your master password. This code will enable you to get access to Bitwarden should you lose your mobile phone and your USB hardware key. I will print this and keep it in a safe place. Now we have enabled two-factor authentication and we have saved our recovery key.